So next function that we are going to do today is uh, your, uh, let me just write over here, repeat. Let me write the format so that you know what the functions are. And then the next is we have another function. If you remember, we were when we were doing theory class, uh, you know, uh, yesterday, uh, we came across another function, which was by the name substitute. So we are going to do today these two functions as well, along with the if function. So if I just, uh, you know, I say that uh, uh, there is any, let me write any text over here. So if I say, you know, A, B, C, and uh, let me just write randomly, right? And uh, let me write a few more, A, B, C, three, four, five. A, B, D, A, B, D, and F. Let me write some more. Uh, okay, so let me write A, B, O. Oh, I, today I'm working with the alphabets. <laughs> That's okay. So we have these. Okay. But I want to work with the with the steps which I've written, and uh, I want to compare uh, certain. Uh, you know, I don't want to compare. I want to repeat the text which is there uh, in the cell F. And the result I want in the G cell. So I write, uh, if you just see, automatically uh, this uh, REPT has come. And that is what I want. And if I just double click on this, uh, the whole function will come in that particular cell. And we can also see the format of the function. So if you read that function very carefully, it says that uh, REPT, uh, REPT that, that, that is a short form of repeat, a bracket, text, colon, number of times which I want to repeat. So in this particular F column, I have uh, text like ABC, then TR. And remember, when I'm working with the, uh, this uh, text, I have to use double quote for that. So I want this T uh, to be repeated three times. And uh, let's see what I get. And uh, K. So I don't want uh, just the ABC overall. I want only the T letter from that particular text to be repeated three times in the cell. Let me try this one more time. And I say REPT. And this particular function, I suppose, may be used when you have to extract a particular letter. And you have to, you know, you have to repeat that particular letter for nth number of times. Because this particular, uh, you know, function, it takes two arguments. The first is the text that we want to use and that we want to work on. And then it says comma and the number of times. So the number of times which actually tell you that for how many number of times that particular alphabet that you've written, or maybe if we can work on the text on, on the word also, we want to be repeated. This may be a scenario where we are working with, uh, uh, you know, like we have a report uh, of 2020. So, you know, we, uh, or maybe, you know, report file or presentation, or, uh, you know, the company name, or uh, maybe any character that we want to repeat every now and then. In that case, we can use these functions. OK, so let me uh, see what it does with this. So I want to now give, uh, OK, let me just uh, say D. Well, I have to use the colon. And then I say comma again. And then I say two times. And then I'm going to close the bracket. And uh, I hope it gives me the same result. So in this particular function, I have to be very careful. Uh, see, when it comes to number of times, uh, I can't give 0 over there. Because if I give 0 over here, just see what it gives us. So I say this, and I say A. A is the common character which I can see. And now I give 0, and then I close the bracket. And uh, now let, let me see what it gives me. It hasn't given me anything. So if I give zero in the repeat function, uh, which you know, which should not be given because repeat is basically to repeat a particular you know character for a number of times. So when I mention zero over here, it will not give me any result. On a similar account, if I give a negative number in the function, supposedly I just say v and I say minus two. So minus is not the number that we use to repeat a particular text. Right. So again, it will give me. It won't give me blank. 
but it will give me the error, which is, is not taking a negative number over here, right? Similarly, if I give, uh, let me try giving you another uh, option of repeat. So just in case, if I say that, if I want a particular uh, uh, letter to be repeated, uh, say, for, uh, you know, a limit defined by Excel. So I say 32767. Okay, let me uh, just try and let me see what I get. Right, there's an error. Let me see. Where, uh, okay, there's a double. Okay. Oh my God. So many A's are coming in. So what does it mean? That uh, you know, it has actually uh, you know showed uh, this repeated A alphabet. And if I just go, you know, here that is a max limit defined by Excel. Right. So this will go on and on until the time it reaches the the uh, position of uh, three two seven six seven. That is a max limit defined by Excel uh, in the terms of the number that can be used uh, to repeat a particular text or a word. Now, if I increase this number to 8, which is more than uh, this particular limit defined by Excel, this will give me the error. So what does it mean? That if I write 0, it, won't, it will not give me any error, but it will not give me any result. All right. And if I give a value in the formula, which is more than the limit defined by Excel, then again, it will give me the error. Similarly, if I give the negative value, you know, in that case, also, this is going to give me a uh, error over here. Now, I want to do something else. H here, I was talking about the text, but now I want to talk about the address. So let me say the same thing now with the address. I say, uh, REPT, then uh, uh, bracket. I say now the address, which is F1. All right. And uh, I say 1, and then I close the bracket. F1 is the address where the text is stored. And uh, maybe, you know, uh, you know, I'm not aware about what text is stored, I just, but I know the cell address. So I can use that to repeat that particular data that is stored in the F1. So let me check the function one more time. And in the address, if you remember and recall, we don't have to use uh, quotes over here. Quotes are only required when we are working on the text or maybe the letters, but not otherwise. Or maybe with the date, but not with the number or not with the address. So it, we have REPT uh, bracket. We have given the address this time. And I say comma 1. And uh, let me see what I get. See, it has only given me that word for one time. Let me make this one as three. And I get that word for three times in that particular column, right? And if we want to work more with that, remember we have done uh, concatenate. If you want to just add in a, a space within the, uh, you know, the whole string. So we can make it more readable by adding a, a space with the help of the concatenate function that we've already done. So similarly, let me do same thing here with the REPT. And I'm going to give the same, uh, say, I say F2 now. And uh, I say now, say, five times. And I'm going to close the bracket. And uh, I'm going to get it five times. Similarly, uh, you know, if I just say that, you know, I, I can use uh, these uh, uh, special characters as well. Like I can use uh, this, this. I can use any, I suppose. So now let me go. Oh. Percent is a oh okay. Oh, you know, let me just work on the other. It won't allow me to work like that. So let me press escape. So I'll write over here uh, the other characters, which is not uh, the text. So let me write the simple one. I write this. I write this, and uh, let me do with these, and then I see what I get. So I'm gonna have repeat, and then I'm gonna give address as L1 and then comma, and then I want this particular thing to be repeated maybe two times in the particular column. So if I say this, you can very easily see that the text in L1 has been repeated for two times. All right. So this particular function can be used for the special characters as well and along with the words and along with the letters. 
for the letters, please remember, if you're working with the letters, we will have to actually mention the letter in the function. Like, you know, in the course, you write A, L, B, whatever you want to write. But if you want to work with the whole word, the better option is always to use the address. All right. So let me just see. Can I uh, give the word also rather than giving the address? So if I just uh, say R E P T and bracket, and uh, let me write in double quotes the same word which I have written in F1. So it's A B C and T R, and I close the bracket and I say that repeat that for two times. So I think it should take because uh, normally it has taken. Uh, in the other functions also. So we have REPT bracket in quotes. I say ABC, which is the data stored in F1. Earlier I was using F1, but now I want to use just to see whether the whole word gets repeated or not. And it does get repeated. Right? That was for the repeat function that is used to repeat a particular text 